Hey everyone, in today's video we'll be coming through some postures that are really good for stretching out a stiff neck or uh, maybe your shoulder area. Uh, this is something that I am quite familiar with because I practice these all the time. I tend to get uh, a bit of stiffness in my neck that can cause tension headaches. Um, so these are some postures that I've found help me. So we'll just be getting started seated on our mats. From our comfortable seated position, we're gonna take a minute to grow up tall through the spine, all the way through the crown of the head, rolling the shoulders down the back, and we're going to come through a couple stretches just to find kind of our baseline of our range of motion of our neck and noticing if there's any trigger points or any areas where you're feeling stuck. So with an inhale, growing tall, Exhale to send your gaze over your left shoulder. Pausing here. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale as we send our gaze over our right shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale as we send our gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale to come through center and dropping our chin to our chest. Inhale through center. From here coming into a few more intense neck stretches. So I'll show you a few different variations and pausing anywhere uh, that's feeling good for you. So to start, inhale. Exhale, dropping our right ear to our right shoulder. And this might be as far as you go today. If you'd like to take it farther, you can take your right hand to the side of your head and just applying very gentle pressure. And if you'd like to take it one step farther, you can walk the left hand away from the body along your mat. I find this one helps me the most when I'm uh, feeling a lot of tension, especially near the base of my skull. You can play around, maybe sending your gaze down towards your knee, or maybe even hovering the left fingertips off the mat. Just finding what stretch or what angle is reaching that area um, that's bothering you. Inhale to release and come back up through center. Exhale as we send our left ear to our left shoulder. And again, choosing your option, maybe grabbing a hold of the side of the head very gently and maybe walking the fingers out. Once again, playing around with your angles. Maybe slightly turning the gaze down, maybe lifting the fingertips. Using your exhale, releasing your hands back to your knees and slowly drawing your neck back up. Deep inhale as we're seated. Exhale, drops your chin to your chest. And once again, this might be good enough for you for today. Or if you can feel like you can take it a little bit farther, you can interlace the fingers behind your neck, applying gentle pressure. Hardly any pressure, just allowing gravity to draw your arms down. Returning your hands to the knees and drawing your head back up with an inhale. From here, we're coming into cow face pose. I'll show you a couple of variations of this one as well. So to begin, drawing our left arm up to the sky and reaching our hand back. So it's kind of flat against our shoulder blade. And with our right hand, drawing it up to our elbow and giving it a gentle push. Feel the stretch. I can feel it through my tricep and through my shoulders. And again, one more variation. If you feel like you'd like to go a little bit deeper, I'm going to turn around to show you the back view here. So we have 
our hand reaching down our back, and we can reach that right hand around, working towards touching the fingertips or maybe even clasping hands if you can do that. This is the side that I can touch fingertips on. I know for sure on my other side that my fingertips don't meet. So even if you're here, this still might feel like a nice stretch. And using an exhale to unwind and release. Turn back around and we'll inhale our right arm up to the sky. Exhale to reach that palm for your shoulder. And inhale up the left arm. So we gently give the right elbow a push, gently guiding it back. And if you'd like to take this deeper, you can reach your left hand around, reaching to touch the fingers. Couple deep breaths, maintaining our long, tall spine. And using your exhale to release the left hand and then the right. From here, we'll be making our way into tabletop. So planting our hands under our shoulders, positioning our knees underneath of our hips, and we're coming into a few rounds of cat-cow. Cat-cow is great for so many things, but especially uh, for warming up our spine and just feeling that connection of our spine all the way from our tailbone up all the way to our head. So with an inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze up. Exhale as we round pressing through our hands actively to create that arch in our back and allow the head to become heavy here. So just allowing gravity to pull it down gently. Inhale for cow pose. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow, pressing the, the ground firmly away with our hands. Inhale as we round the spine and allow the neck to fully relax and just dangle. Inhale for cow, last round here. Inhale, cat. And exhale as we come to our neutral tabletop position. From here, we're coming in to thread the needle. So beginning with our right hand planted firmly. So making sure we're pressing all the way through our hand, all the way through our whole fingers, all the way to our fingertips and inhale to draw our left arm up to the sky, seeing if you can follow your gaze, sorry, follow your hand with your gaze. If that's too intense, just a neutral gaze is fine. Once again, we're just taking note of any areas that we're feeling the stiffness and any particular angles that are bothersome for you. And with your exhale, we're drawing our left arm under the right, drawing our shoulder down, the ear and the side of the head down. This is a great upper back stretch for relieving any tension. We have a couple options here with the right hand. We can leave it as it is. We can draw it up overhead to the small of the back or we can even reach it for our inner thigh on the left side. So choosing your arm variation and spending a couple deep breaths here. One. 
one more inhale. And with your exhale, we're unwinding. If you were twisted, returning our hand to the mat, pressing up and through, returning to our tabletop. From here, setting up on the opposite side. So firm contact with our left hand to the mat. Inhale the right arm up and overhead. Gaze to follow if you can. And with your exhale, tucking the left arm, sorry, right arm under left, right shoulder, ear, and side of the head to the mat. Hips are high. And choosing your variation with your arm. With each exhale, feel yourself sinking deeper into the mat. One more inhale. And using your exhale to return the left hand to the mat as we press up, returning to tabletop. From here, coming into puppy pose, we're going to walk our hands away from the body. So we're reaching and from here, we're melting our heart and our forehead or our chin, whatever feels more comfortable for you, down towards the mat. And we're keeping the hips high in that elevated position and sinking deeply reaching our chest down towards the mat. You can rest your forehead. I kind of prefer to have my neck at this angle with my chin, that feels more comfortable for me, but you may choose your own option. One more breath here. And with your exhale, pressing back into your hands and walking them back towards the body. And we're sinking our hips all the way back as we make our way into child's pose. So drawing the knees in towards each other, making contact with our stomach to our thighs, drawing the forehead to the mat, and releasing our arms down long beside us with our palms facing up. This allows the shoulders to fully relax and become heavy, gently sinking forward. If this is uncomfortable at all, you could also use your hands or forearms to make a pillow for your forehead. Feeling a nice, gentle, natural curve of your spine. We'll take two more breaths here. With each inhale, feel how your stomach compresses against your thighs. Kind of a nice, nice, kind of feels like a nice hug. And as you exhale, Sinking deeper, allowing the shoulders and the hands and the forehead to fully relax into the mat. Using your next inhale, returning our hands under our shoulders as we make our way up to seated. I hope these stretches have helped you as much as they've helped me. This is something I find myself doing at least a couple times a week just to maintain um, that good range of motion and flexibility in my neck. So if, um, feel free uh, to do these as often as you need and I look forward to seeing you next time, bye.